None of this makes any sense! Fuck me. I haven't finished my analysis. Wait a minute. He just says that the nearest mines are a dozen miles away. And yet... Right here we see that there's a granite quarry right next to a... in Whitechapel! I can make what? the right decision. What? Okay, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's just... Okay, let's just figure out what the hell happened here. I had to work my way backwards to get this logic to work. The Whitechapel Cleric is near a grave. Whitechapel Granite comes from a grave. <sighs> comes from a pit near a monument. Now, this is the one that kept throwing me off. The fragment of granite painted black. How do I figure out that it comes from a monument painted black? All I know is that it's granite painted black. Oh my god, I just spent half an hour on this shit. Okay, you know what? You know what? We're gonna have to stop right now, because I need to reset my recordings, and I need to fucking find a way to not be pissed. God damn this game! <sighs> Fuck this game, man. I haven't finished... God damn it! It's your Whitechapel Cemetery, which as I said before! The public dispensary number 4661. It's just opposite the Whitechapel Street Cemetery. Yes, Watson. The murderer with the missing finger must work in the cemetery, or at least visit it. He could have taken a rope. One of the type they use to lower the coffins into the graves. The granite is minute particles of tombstone. And he only had to Why would that be on the rope? Steal a scalpel from the dispensary opposite. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's just have a look at this logic here. Part of the logic is that the rope is worn only on one side. That means it's always used on the same side. Holmes says that the rope is used to lower coffins. Coffins are made of wood. And when you lower down a coffin, there's no right side up on the rope. You know, you can use it in a multitude of orientations, as long as it, you know, gets the coffin down there. And Combs also says that the granite is there because of tombstones. Why the fuck would a rope being used to lower down coffins even touch tombstones enough to brush off pieces of rock? No. I'm sorry, this game is not... No. There is much stupid to be found here. Now what do I do? Map. I have no map. What am I supposed to do, Watson? Let us look at our deduction board, Watson. 
I just did. There's a second deduction board. What? Didn't oh f what what the fuck was I just doing then? What was I just doing? Okay, okay, never mind, never mind. The bishop nod at it himself. Bishop. The bishop The bishop nod at himself. The bishop tore through his aggressor's finger with his teeth. The bishop wanted to kill himself. The bishop fought his aggressor savagely. The bishop went mad. Bishop went mad. No. Okay. Bishop fought his aggressor sa- No. No. Went mad then. I'm saying he went mad. Broken flask had some blood on its top. The flask contained poison that causes madness. The murderers made the bishop drink it. The murderers made the bishop drink the contents of the- f Made the bishop drink blood, made the contents of the flask. The tortured man tortured the bishop with the broken glass. Murderers have poisoned. Had a poison that causes madness. The boys in it. Bishop's murderers are lunatics. The bishop's murderers are vampires. Clearly, they are vampires. Yeah, because that makes sense. Perfect. The flask had some blood on well his tip. Well done, Watson. Our board is finished. It confirms that the bishop's murderers work for one person, who, amongst other things, possesses a very sophisticated poison. They therefore act for someone more educated than themselves. Really? You remember Wiggins and... Wow, achievements the unlocked. Street Two for forty. Yes, the street urchins, whom you employ upon occasion. And Wiggins is their leader. Yes. Well, I have hired their services again. I have instructed them to find out the address of the bishop's nephew. Mm. I think he's here. Really? When did you do this, Holmes? Yeah, Mr. Holmes. Wiggins, my young friend, have you found the information for which the good Dr. Watson is going to pay you? <laughs> yes, Mr. Holmes, it was easy. Very well, I understand. Uh, here are a few pennies. Thanks, Dr. Watson. The man you're looking for lives near Kensington. Does he live alone? Yes, but he rents a room for an old lady. Did she see you? No, Mr. Holmes. No one saw me. Perfect. Watson, give our young friend another shilling as a reward for his discretion. Here we go again. But of course... Okay. I'm falling asleep, Holmes. Aren't you tired? No, I have an exceptional constitution. <laughs> I can't remember ever having been fatigued by work. Because you jack yourself up on the needle. me completely. Go to bed, Watson. The night will be short. We leave at dawn. Wow, this is a real adventure. It's what exciting. the fuck? I like it better than made-up stories. I want to know what happens next. Keep reading. I'm going to. Shut your pie hole, Denise, and I'll finish. Ah, oh, I want to listen to. But my head's made out of a potato, so I really can't. My readers must excuse me if I do not describe in full detail here the terrible images which haunted me that what night. What the fuck is going I on? I that something extraordinary would take place, but I was scarcely prepared for the reality of it. How does this kid have enough vocabulary and reading comprehension skills to read all the words that Watson puts in his goddamn Good journals? Good morning, Holmes. She's what? Do you get any rest? Six? I did not attempt to sleep. Have you managed to come to any conclusions? I think that we might follow three trails. We can visit Whitechapel to try to discover the identity of the murderers by making inquiries at Dispensary 4661 mm -hmm. and at the Whitechapel Street Cemetery. The poison trail seems more important to me. We should perhaps go to Westgate Prison first to see Hans Shield. No! Yes. And let us not forget the Bishop's irascible nephew, whose address we now have, thanks to my Baker Street Irregulars. I have located each place on our map of London. Holmes, let me remind you that we still have not been officially instructed to investigate this affair. Ah, well, we will just have to hide that small detail. Okay, let's take a second here. Holmes is currently working on his own. 
Not too weird, but it doesn't happen very often. Now, Holmes has not yet said why he was at the bishop's place. He said that the bishop asked for him to come there for some reason. But we don't know why. Now, just going off of the three options we have here, we can either go check out Whitechapel, we can go talk to the bishop's uh, family, the nephew, or we can go after the poisoner. The poisoner sounds like the stupidest possible option, because you found a random name in the book, and all of a sudden you guys are gung-ho thinking that this is the guy. That is the stupidest possible fucking option. So it's probably right. Let's talk to Watson and get going here. What should we do next, Holmes? We must explore all our leads. Alright, so I guess we're a bit we're gonna get everywhere eventually, I suppose. But in Chapel Street, Kensington Gardens, Westgate Jail. Let's start at the fucking Westgate jail. Prison. Because that seems like such a great idea. Really, there is no reason for this. At all. Here we are at the famous Westgate Prison, one of the oldest and shortest in the kingdom. I've heard that it is soon going to be demolished. Don't you find it strange that it still houses criminals as dangerous as Hans Schielman? There's nothing strange about it, Watson. The name of this prison is linked with numerous failed escape attempts. As long as it stands, the criminals will fear it. Not Wow, he's short. Oh, there he Good is. Good morning, gentlemen. Are you expected? What were you doing down no, there? No, but we wish to meet with one of your prisoners, Hans Schielman. I'm afraid that at the moment that is impossible. Access to the cells is controlled strictly. You can't go there without permission from the director. Then would you be so good as to announce us? I am Sherlock Holmes, and this is Dr. Watson. The famous Holmes and Watson. What an honor. My name is Brighton. Frank Brighton. Hi, Frank. I'm I can't announce you. I'm not allowed to leave my post under any circumstances. But I'm sure that the director won't refuse to see you, even without an appointment. Do you see the corridor behind the reception? Follow it to the secretary's office. You'll find him there. Just Thank wander you. around freely. One last thing. Hans Schielman received any visits lately? None. And I'm sure because I've dealt with receiving visitors for several weeks now. I volunteered because it's a calm post to be in. We don't get many visitors and it gives me time to write. Just like you, Dr. Watson. I enjoy literature in the pu Very good. In the pu? That was very impolite, Holmes. That man admires our work. You could have given him... Another time. Let's go and meet the director of the prison. <laughs> okay, so he's still... Holmes is still being kind of a dick. Which is not helping his case for the, uh... Is this the secretary? Sorry, but this area is prohib... Nope. That's not we the must right see. Okay, so which way was the director? Ah, oh. Uh, high security level? No. Administration. Probably this way. Oh. Hello. Closed. 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 The locker room. Check room. Let's go. Secretary. Hello, Madam Secretary. A <clears throat> good morning, Miss. Oh, uh, excuse me, I dropped off. Good morning, gentlemen. Falling what asleep at the job, you? really? I am Sherlock Holmes, and this is Doctor Watson. We would like to talk to the director. I'll just go and see if he can receive you. Any time. Tiredness, pale face, stiffness. I believe that the young lady is expecting a happy event. It would seem so. She's preggers! Hot tea! There appear to be small slices of... What is that, lime? Mango? No, it's, uh, kiwi. It's gotta be kiwi. Kiwi? This charming secretary is Miss Jenny Patterson. Watson, you think every secretary is charming? 
This small rack is for urgent letters to be given immediately to the director. Okay. The director's office, Mr. P. Patterson. No need to go in there. Right, Patterson. It's strange. The director and the secretary have the same name. That's weird. Usually you just share bodily fluids and memos with your secretary. I'm delighted to meet you, Mr. Holmes. I am Paul Patterson, director of this establishment. You wish to talk to me? I hope this unexpected visit isn't to announce bad news. No, do not worry. We are investigating an affair of the highest importance, one which could potentially affect the security of the kingdom. Therefore, it is imperative that we interview one of your prisoners, Hans Schielman. Can't tell if bullshitting or not. Hans killer. He's been in here for a long while now, and he's had no contact with the outside. How could he be involved in such an affair? Bitch, just that do what I say! We would like to find out. And you have been commissioned by Scotland Yard? Evidently. A pass? Very well. I have complete confidence in you, Mr. Holmes. I will draw up a pass that you should give to Warden James in the guardroom. He will show you to the cells. Thank you, Director. Keep me informed of your progress. And if there is anything else, don't hesitate to let me know. We shall certainly do I'm trying very hard to be Robert Downey Jr., you see. Family ties? Miss Patterson. You have the same name as the director. Are you related? Come, Watson. Anyone who might have made the slightest study of anthropology would have noted the similarities between the young lady and her father. Mr. Holmes is right. I am his daughter. But he doesn't like to talk about it. I think he's afraid of being accused of favoritism. I'm sure it was your qualities alone which secured you this position, Miss. If you must try out your powers of seduction, then what do you say about using them on the rat killer? <laughs> <laughs> uh, goodbye. Oh, goodbye, miss. Goodbye, gentlemen. All right. Off to see the guards. Which I'm guessing was that room I was thrown out of earlier. All right. Check room. Entryway. <laughs> Do I ran the door? Do, 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 do. Guards room? Sorry, but this area. I have a pass. I was supposed to take it to. Was it this guy? Sorry, sirs. Okay, he said in the guards room. So where's the guards room? Is this it? Cleaning the. Cleaning materials. It's maintenance, high security, low security. Tip, tip, tip. Entryway, cloak room, check room. He said to take it to the guards room, right? Damn it. Let's just check dialogues here. No, no, oh, here we go. In the guard room. Where's the guard room? What is this? Uh, you are allowed one visit each month for members of your immediate family, otherwise, via. Blah, 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 blah. There's the check room. There's the cloak room. There's the entryway. Guard room. Guard room, guard room, guard room. Low security level. Do I have a pass in my inventory? I do. Maybe I can use it here. Ah, you've got a pass. There we the go. High security area. It's the door at the end. Go ahead. Thank you. Just let me wander about the place, I guess. Closed. Leads to the high security area. No. But he just said I was cleared to go to the high security area. Mm. 
Hi. My name is Peter James, Chief Warden, and this is Deputy Warden O'Sullivan. Well, he said to go there, though. I imagine I will find Hans Schielman behind these bars in the basement. Yes, the high security cells are down there. Is this the only access? Yes, there was a second door at the end of the main hall, but it's been blocked up as a security measure. Oh, Thank you, okay. Chief Warden. At your service. If you require further information, Warden McKenzie will help you. He's at his post in the basement. Great detective. Mr. Holmes, I am a huge admirer of yours. Oh, hi. I have followed all your cases and successes with the greatest interest. What enthusiasm. Have you ever thought of a career in the police force? Have I thought about it? It's my dream. And I'm going to try my chance once this establishment closes down. I'm studying hard for the examination to get into police school. It has always been my dream to tell criminals to stop, or I shall say stop again.